Welcome to Funding Stack. I'm Nathan Becker, the CEO, and I'd love to show you around. Funding Stack is an end to end suite of tools to help you raise capital and to work with portfolio companies and clients and help them raise capital. When you first sign up, you're dropped into the investor CRM. That's what you're looking at here. This is a tool to manage a pipeline of investors. A good first step is to customize this. You can add your own columns. You can also edit the titles of columns. You can move columns around. I like to set this up to match my own workflow. So I've added a couple custom columns such as sent intro email, sent deck, view deck, responded. And one of the reasons I do that is because I can use some of the other tools like our email tool to send emails to specific groupings of investors. For example, if I want to send a follow-up email to everyone I sent the deck to, I can do that by choosing that over in the send email tool. Another good thing to start doing when you first sign up is to set up deals. A deal could be a portfolio company, it could be a client, it could be a subsidiary. Essentially, a deal is a sub-account. So you have your master account, which is kind of an admin account, and then every deal can be a sub-account. And you can invite in CEO or CFO of that particular portfolio company or client. They would have access to their deal, but no other deals. But of course, you as the account owner have access to all the deals. Within a deal, you can set up multiple pipelines. The reason for doing that is you may want to segment your investors. For example, if you want one pipeline that is for family offices, another for VC, you could segment them that way. Or perhaps you're raising a seed round, but at the same time, you can set up a separate pipeline for Series A investors as you're finding investors that match your criteria, your type of deal, add them to your Series A so you have a pipeline ready for future rounds. Next, let's invite our team to the account. We go over here into settings and it's pretty straightforward. Click the team tab, add team members. They're going to get an email inviting them into the account. They simply click the link in that email, follow the prompts and they'll be dropped into the account. While we're here in settings, you can set up your email. If you integrate your email, this will let you do a couple things. One, it will pull in email threads that you have with investors. And I'll show you that in a moment. Two, it lets you send out emails from the system, follow-up emails, batch emails. Three, it lets you send out your pitch deck and investor updates from the system. Let's go back to our investor CRM. Using this should be pretty straightforward. As you make progress with investors, you can drag and drop these cards around your pipeline. If I open up a card, you can see details such as a description, contacts, any notes you have, previous activities. If you've connected your email, then it will pull in email threads with that investor. You can also attach files and see the whole history of activity with that investor. So this really becomes a single source of truth or a single record of all the notes, tasks, activities, files, and email threads with each investor. Here in the CRM, I can also do some bulk actions. If I want to move a group of investors between pipelines or between deals, I can do that here. I can also copy investors, delete investors, and do things like edit my pipeline or delete my pipeline. Now let's talk about adding investors to the CRM. There are three ways to add investors to your pipeline. One is this button here, add card. I can either look for investors in Funding Stacks database or I can type in the details if it's an investor that we do not have in Funding Stack. The second way of adding investors is by importing a list of investors. Come down here, click Import Investors. I strongly recommend viewing this tips screen. This will provide the types of fields that we have in the CRM. And I always recommend that you clean up your spreadsheet before importing. For example, if you have one column for first name and one column for last name, you should merge those into a single column so you can import them into our CRM. It's pretty straightforward. Click here, browse your files, find the file to import, and then match the columns in your spreadsheet with the fields in our CRM. For example, firm name would match to investor name. Name, which is referring to a person, would be first contact person name. Location, location, description, description. Match as best you can, click import, and they will be dropped into the research column. The third way to populate the CRM is to browse our investor database. We have roughly 216,000 investors, and we have them tagged. We have them tagged by type of investor, angel investor, family office, 
fund of funds, venture capital, private equity. We have them tagged by industry. And we have about a thousand different industries. My recommendation here is start typing the first few letters of your industry and then pick the most relevant tags. If I pick more than one tag from the same category, it will expand the results. If I add another category, either type, location, or stage, it will narrow down the results. Browse the results, and when someone catches your eye, click their name to open up a detailed view of that investor. Skim their description, look at previous deals they've done, check their social feeds, and I recommend clicking through to that investor's webpage and social links. Spend the minute on their team and their portfolio. Find the right person at that fund that does your type of deal. Make sure they do not have a competing uh, portfolio company. Pick the right person, add them to the CRM, and that's going to drop them at the top of the research column. So that's how to use the investor CRM and the investor database to source investor prospects. But Fund and Stack contains much more. If I go over to our Pitch Deck hosting tool, here's where I can upload a PowerPoint or PDF of my firm. I can turn on track views. I can copy and paste this link and send it using my own email. Or I can go back to the app and I can send it from the system. If I send it from the system, I can track who opened my email, who opened the deck, and how much time they spent on the deck. Similarly, we have an investor update tool. I can create a simple update template by dragging and dropping these items into the body of the report. Enter my text, enter my metrics, and it's going to look something like this with a clickable navigation bar on the side. And similar to the pitch deck, I can then send this out through the system. Our third marketing tool is our email tool. Here, I simply click compose. I pick which investors I wanna send an email to. Perhaps I wanna send an email just to people who have viewed my deck, but not yet responded. This could be a follow-up email. If I want to personalize this email, I can drop in personalization tokens. You can type your text here, but we also have some email templates. And you can create your own template by clicking Add Template, Attach Files, Add Your Footer. And when you hit Send, each email is going to be sent from your actual email address, not from Funding Stack. And they're going to be spaced out about three to four minutes apart. So even if you sent 20 or 50 emails at a time, each one is going to be sent individually to really look and feel both to the recipient and to Google that you sent 50 individual emails. It's a really good way to do follow-up emails. As we say, the money's in the follow-up. As you make progress with your investors, you might consider adding on a data room. Our data room is quite simple, but very powerful. You can create your folders, populate these folders with documents. You can invite investors into the entire data room, give them access to everything, or you can invite them in just to specific folders, or you can even invite them to view just specific files within those folders. To give an investor access, I click this icon, I type their email, and then I choose what they can do. View only, or view plus print, or view plus print plus download. They're gonna get an invitation, they'll accept the workplace agreement, and they will have access to the folder or to the data room that you gave them. We've got some other great things, such as our documents and templates collection. These are downloadables. And we've got some pretty good content on our blog, podcast, and YouTube all about raising money. One more thing I want to share with you that we're seeing people have great success with is they'll go to their master account and they're collecting all their investors in their master account. Then when I set up a new deal for a client or portfolio company, I can simply copy over a group of investors from my master account into that client's CRM. So I'm giving my clients and portfolio founders a leg up on their fundraising by giving them an instantly made investor pipeline. Last but not least, Funding Stack is sold on a monthly basis, no contracts, cancel anytime. It's $250 per seat. But if you're interested in stepping up to an annual plan, we have several premium investor lists that we can drop into your account. These are family offices that invest in venture funds, wealth management and multifamily offices, LPs that invest in venture funds. We have LPs that invest in emerging managers, lists of celebrity, athlete, musician investors, and quite a few other lists that we will drop into your account if you're willing to go on an annual plan. That's it. If you need help with anything at any time, click this icon in the lower right-hand corner, type your issue, 
and that will be routed to a customer support representative. We're usually pretty responsive, about 20 out of 24 hours a day. We hope this is helpful. If you have any feedback, we'd love to hear it. You can always reach me, Nathan at FundingStack.com. And we'd love to see you join the ranks of companies that have used our platforms to raise over $17 billion. Thank you.